Beware, everybody. All right, so we have had the flash flooding and the damage from the remnants of Fred last Thursday. Then, of course, we had these high winds with Henri. Some of you may have lost some uh, trees in your yard or other damage, uh, things, you know, blown off the, the, the house, things blown around the, the yard. Well, listen, uh, if you've experienced storm damage, you've got to be aware of the potential storm chasers who are trying to scam you. And that's why we are calling in Nancy Cahalan today, our expert from the Better Business Bureau, to give you all the warnings and uh, tell you about all the red flags that you need to be on the lookout for. Nancy, good morning. Good morning. How are you this morning? Are we all dried out? <laughs> well, <laughs> you can... a, a crazy couple of few days. <laughs> it, it, it really has, and I'll tell you what, uh, it's funny that you say that yeah, about yeah. are we dried out because Ben and I, are still driving around in vehicles because we were caught in one of those flash floods that are still a little bit wet. So, uh, you know, Ben and I, I think, are susceptible oh, no. to people who would come along and say, hey, uh, and uh, the, the right headline or the right pitch would be something that could get us. Yeah. So, you know, natural disasters, and I wouldn't, this was sort of a disaster. Um there were tornadoes that touched down. There mm. were uh, hurricane force winds. There were a lot of um, trees that came down. And that was primarily, other than the flooding, that was primarily the issue with this storm. But like anything else, it'll bring out the best in people when you're in need, but it also will bring out the worst. And um, some of those are what we call storm chasers. Now, I was talking to Ben and uh, explained that there are some storm chasers. So that's how they run their business. Business. So, um, say a, a roof lasts 20 years, um, then your roof, there's only 5% of the roofs need to be replaced every year. So, we have a, a number of roofers in our area that will be able to accommodate that. So, if you have a big storm go through, like a hailstorm or a hurricane, um, and now 20% of the people need their roof replaced, we don't have enough roofers to go around. So these storm chasers follow storms around the country um, in order to beef up the number of um, roofers or tree um, service people that are in an area to to be able to provide service to the um, consumers. So how do you tell the scammers uh, their big red flags? First of all, if they come door to door. You know, uh, be very uh, Suspicious if they come door to door. Now, if there's been a lot of damage in your neighborhood, a reputable business might be going door to door because they, they're looking, their neighbor has an issue, you have an issue. So that's probably the best way for them to reach you. So what do you look for? You need to um, check to, to make sure that they're registered and um, that they're properly licensed. Look at their vehicle. Uh, does it have out-of-state plates on it? Uh, you know, you want to make sure that you have a local business that will stand behind the work. And just because they're going door to door doesn't mean you only get that one quote. If they use high pressure sales tactics and say, this is a great deal, take it now or leave it, that's not how a reputable business uh, works, not, you know, even in conditions like this. So always take the time to get three businesses, to get quotes from them, and never, never, never pay all your money up front. That's another red flag. The storm chasers want their money up front because in a lot of cases, they're not going to come back or they're going to do a lousy job and then leave town. So um, those are three things to look for, and always get everything in writing. Um, get a contract, a written contract. You can't um, depend on the, the word of, of a contractor, and they can't either. So it's in the best interest of both parties to get it all written down so that everybody's in agreement on what to expect. Yeah, and I think, you know, Nancy, part of it is, is especially after a storm and the damage is right there and a guy shows up at my door and says, hey, uh, I can do this for you now. I can give you this good deal now because I'm in the area and you've told us about this before. You know, they'll kind of use the old, hey, I'm cleaning up this guy down the road. So I just went driving by and I, I can help you out. So I feel this, this pressure 
Like, if I don't say yes right now, I'm going to miss out this great deal, and that fights with my common sense of uh, this may be too good to be true, and I need to check this guy out. Absolutely. You know, um, that's great. It, they may be on the up and up, um, but if they are, they will certainly understand your need to check their credentials, check them out, contact your Better Business Bureau, that's us, and and find out what we have, uh, what we're reporting on them. So, um it, any reputable business is going to understand your need to do that. And they're going to be proud of their record and their reputation. So they're not concerned that when you check them out, you're going to find something there. So uh, take the time. It doesn't take that long. And um, if you can't get on the Internet, uh, call us and uh, we'll help you out. Yeah. And I mean, and, and also, uh yeah, I mean, uh, they've got to be able to, to take your insurance, I would think, because I mean, you're going to file a claim if, if, if your damage is bad enough. Yeah, so that's another area where you need to be very careful. Don't sign over your insurance check to contractors. Um, and so, you you know, first, when you get the damage, you, could, you should check your policy um, and, and see what it covers, see what specific filing requirements um, they have, and save all your receipts. Um, now, you know, you might need, so say you lost power because a tree came down and pulled the wires down, your insurance might cover the food that's in your refrigerator that's gone bad. So save all your receipts, and if they don't cover some of it, that's fine, but don't be lacking in receipts when it's time to file your claim. Just don't sign that um, check over to the contractor. Get an invoice from them and pay them directly. And the best is if they'll take a credit card because that offers additional fraud protection. We've talked about that a lot. Yeah, absolutely. This is all good advice and very timely advice with the uh, fact that, you know, there was the flash flooding from Fred and then we had uh, Henri uh, who came, you know, blowing through the area as well. And as you pointed out, we had three communities that we're, we're talking about today, Marlboro, Bolton and Stowe, all of which actually had tornadoes touched down. Now, luckily, it seems as if there wasn't a lot of damage associated with uh, with those. But I say that I'm not the guy whose yard may have, you know, been hit by 65 mile per hour wind. So uh, if people, you just said it a moment ago, check it out. Call the Better Business Bureau. How do they do that? What's the best way for them to get in touch with you? Well, you can call our direct line. It's 508-755-3340. And um, between 9 and 4, Monday through Friday, we have someone here to answer the call and uh, look up those businesses for you and help determine if they're, if it's a business that you want to um, have do the work for you. Very good. Nancy Cahalan, thank you so much for being with us this morning. My pleasure. Always a pleasure.